everyone, welcome to my channel, Blue Lotus Gardens. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Blue Phoenix. I make fun planty videos for my found knowledge and then share with you also a plant vlog on Wednesdays of what I do behind the scenes of my plant shop, my home-based plant shop, Blue Lotus Gardens. If that's something that you're interested in, I recommend subscribing, liking my videos, commenting down below, um, just really uh, helping us grow. Um, I really appreciate sharing my found knowledge with you all and then also growing as we get as um, we keep on going all right so in today's plant care tuesday video um, i am going to share with you all the updates on the plants that we all have seen in the past previous videos for them to keep uh thriving and uh, doing well um, also i'll share some of my tips that i've that i've learned throughout the that, throughout this uh experience and then also um you're always welcome to uh, follow up on my blog on the from the videos that I upload on Plant Care Tuesday. Um, I make a specific blog post uh, for uh, this video. So we're gonna start off with the Hoyas because there's a lot of them. Um, you're gonna notice this Hoya. Uh, Uh, this is the Hoya Compacta Variegata. This is from our most recent video. Uh, it's doing really well. Um, I'm learning a lot. I've learned a lot from Hoyas on how to water. Um, and you want to make sure that whenever you're watering your Hoyas, uh, if they're in this kind of plastic container, that you want to make sure that they're uh, fully actually dry. Uh, their soil is really dry in order for them to actually uh, get uh, another watering. Because if you water it and it's it doesn't... Uh, hasn't fully dried up you risk the you risk it actually um, root rotting so just wanted to point that one out to, to you all um, this is actually one of my favorite ones and if you put it in a grow light you want to make sure you don't put it in the grow like in your grow light for too long because I've noticed every time it develops a new leaf it does um, will it will um, develop a little bit too more of the white variegation which um, might cause it to die off and then it's just a nice white pink leaf for a little bit, but it dies off. And you can you can just, uh, find this one currently on our local pickup, and then um, you can also find this on our shipping catalog. So if you're uh, if you have subscribed to our email uh, notifications, I sent out an email notification every time that the four inch or the six inch. Next, I'm going to talk about. This Hoya Chelsea over here. Uh, this was in a four inch, and it recently I just recently transferred it over to a six inch. Um, it just really needed to be transferred because it was basically like the roots had were wrapped up in the soil, and there was like basically no more nutrients or soil for the plant to receive. So um, I've noticed that it's put out some new growth. Little cute new growth out there, little tiny little leaves, and this one's really uh, nice. The watering you want to just kind of like do a light watering. You don't because it's more of a succulent type of foil. You can tell because of the leaf, um, and it enjoys a little nice uh, spritz. Um, that helps it out, especially if you're putting it in a grow in a grow tent, and it's shown a lot of really good results from it. I also do that with this foil with this Hoya macrophylla right over here. Um, I spritz it so that way you see all these little new growth parts on it. I did have a trailing on a uh, on a jute pole, a little mini jute pole, but I took it off because I'm thinking about propagating it once it starts to like show more new growth. And the, with Hoyas, they really like a nice light watering. They don't like anything that's super heavy. Um, if Oh, the only time you really want to like actually give it a nice heavy soak is this Virtusa. As you see, it's in this nice terracotta pot. Terracotta does uh, is porous, so you're gonna want to uh, water this one a bit more fre frequently, and then allow it to just really dry up until you another watering. And my favorite, one of my other favorites, um, besides the Virtusa. The Rotusa, the Chelsea, you can find um, on my shipping catalog. I love the, the Rotusa personally. 
Uh, and just does this really nice like trailing effect and so like hang it and it looks really nice once it's hung once it's hung up and in a bright uh indirect location here's my linearis as you see here it's in this nice little glazed pot um and i do very light waterings with it just because it's in this glazed pot and as you see here it's still really not even ready for another watering and these little yellow yellowing uh, stems over here kind of make me worry about it sometimes. So I just kind of leave it alone and, until it shows signs that it needs water, watering. But uh, that's the difference between having a terracotta pot and a glazed pot. So as you see here, the difference between them, very light waterings, more waterings. Less water is absorbed more water is absorbed so it's just you just kind of like figure your own method and what works for you best especially for your own plant as for the hoyas is this hoya curtsii a lot of people seem to have issues with this plant i don't know what it is for me it's just like i just water it and i leave it alone and i put it in a bright location not like this one behind me because it's like a south facing window so i kind of put it in a more east facing window and it does really well there. I love this one. This one's one of my favorites also. They're all my favorite. I can't decide. <laughs>we're going to talk about Nepenthes pitcher plants and their care um, so their care is I think it's pretty easy going you just uh, place them in a very bright location never outside outside it attracts pests like crazy um, so I just really wouldn't even risk risk putting them outside unless they're in like a greenhouse um, uh, other than that I wouldn't risk, the, risk them being outside but um, here's their tips this one's actually a um, rescue that I have had for a really long time. I did have it on a juke pole, that's why it's kind of like wobbly a little bit. But um, it's in a spag, it's in sphagnum moss, and then also it has this nice little new growth on the bottom over here, as you see. That's this new little baby, a little baby. <laughs> that one, and then I have this one over here that I showed y'all how to repot as well. These pictures are a little bit more vibrant because I keep them in a uh, in my grow tent, and so um, I've noticed like in like a week or two, they just kind of like start getting like this color, a little bit more darker, which are really pretty. So there's two. There's one coming up over here, and then there's a new one, right up here. So cute. Also, how do y'all like my new planters? I have them for my um, for my store. I'm starting these out. These are gonna be like my standard planters, um, and they'll have like our logo on there. And then I want to change them up and have like some fun designs. So, if you're if you follow me on Instagram, um, I'll post up the designs, and then we can all vote on them as well. And then just kind of like, you know have it really fun i really like enjoying and engaging with you all some of y'all are really creative and have if you know and i really like the direction that sometimes i am given whenever um i give y'all an idea of what i'm designing and drawing and things like that so especially if you're my discord group i just uh you have more like i'll engage with you more on there i engage with with my patreon members and then also with my discord group members the most so um i'll post all the links down below so that you all can join and also like my facebook groups and uh next door if you're in the area as well finally we're going to talk about this beautiful alocasia who has trouble with alocasias i do I have trouble with alocasias as well, so. But I've uh, noticed you just kind of like leave them alone, especially if they're in like in a uh, moist soil, like this. 
and especially if they're going dormant you either want to pop them out of their soil and then place them in a cool uh, dry environment um, and then pop them into soil next go around um, and then you also want to keep them away from like really bright uh, windows I've kept this one in a very bright window and I got a little leaf burn I'll show y'all uh, so don't keep it very close to a window especially in fall um, and then in, in like during this time during fall you just kind of want to keep them a little bit away from the windows um, as you see here those are south face it's a south facing window and it's my propagations and other little things that I'm working on so that's how it goes finally I'm gonna actually insert a clip of the um, dogtail cacti succulent a bit hanging in one of my trees in the backyard. As you see from that clip, uh, it's in this nice, like, bright and direct light. I give it really light waterings, and especially during this time, I really hold back from a lot of watering. And finally, I just really want to highlight one last plant of mine, um, and it's the Begonia Linda Dawn. This beautiful uh, begonia started it all. It started off with just going to Lowe's and rescuing plants from there, and then now I rescue plants from there and then I keep them for a little bit, enjoy them, and then I place them in there to, in my take a plant, leave a plant, so others can enjoy them. And I've been doing that with this one, just propagating it and putting for the store and people have been really been enjoying it. So I really appreciate you all so much um, for supporting my channel, helping my channel grow, my, my plant shop, um, becoming a Patreon member. Uh, joining my discord group all these little things really help out my channel my plant shop everything really I'm like really thankful that I get to wake up and do this I enjoy it so much also meeting like a lot of like cool like plant parents with you all and then just like uh, Sharing your knowledge and helping me grow uh, and that way I could help other people grow as well So y'all have been amazing. Thank you so much again Y'all take care out there as always be safe. Peace everyone. Bye Thank you.